Um, <clears throat> okay. No, actually, leave that in your mouth. Mm. You're clearly. <laughs> I gotta breathe. I didn't know. Is like, this, by the way, I, mean, I just first of all, when, she, when you said that, Catherine, <laughs> several things went through my mind. By the way. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Famous Five. We're here with Peter Mirajanian. Did I say that right? You did. Look at that. I actually don't know who he is. I just met him. Why are we on a patio? I can it's do that from home. That's a very good question. <clears throat> this is one of, I shouldn't say this, but it's one of the few places you can come, have a cigar, it's not crowded, and it's heated. Sounds a lot like uh, Boehner's old office. His was more confined, wasn't it? It was all full of smoke and the curtains. We don't have that problem out here. Your firm, Peter Mirajanian Public Affairs, you guys Very creative. It took me a while to come up with that name. You guys specialize in crisis communication. That's, yeah, one of the things, yes. Let's say you have a client named, oh, I don't know, Ronald Crump. Ooh. Who creates crises every time he communicates. Right. How would you handle that kind of client? In that particular case, you have to own what you say. If you're going to make those comments and you own them and it doesn't affect your support or your brand, you just keep moving forward. And that's what I think we've witnessed with another guy that's close to that day. The word on the street is you were once a stand-up comedian in the 80s. I was. Well, if you call it that. I don't know when the 80s were. That was before my time. How old were you then? I've n I don't even know. Well, I, first of all, let's establish I'm ageless. I sucked. I was not good, obviously. At least you're honest about I, it. But it. But I was rejected, and that rejection has helped me over the years sort of persevere. Are we talking about comedy or dating? Oh, dating. Well, that's another topic. I mean, how, much well, time, how much time do you have? You mentioned rejection, so I thought maybe oh, we that, switch subjects. I'm used to that as well. Oh, many a time. Can you tell us about these Rat Pack parties? They sound very exclusive, and I want to know how to get on the list. Oh, you're on the list, Catherine. Oh. Once you get on the list, you can never get off the list. It's Are like you a, sure? It's like a telemarketer. I you get on that list. That. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, the, the great thing about the party is there's a lot of people from all different walks of life. What I like to say is people have come to my party over the years have been single, have gotten married. Would you call yourself a matchmaker? A lot of people have met, as I said, they've met their girlfriends, significant others, boyfriends at my party, sure. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Mirajanian, Frank Sinatra impersonator. I've never been in love before, but now at once it's you. DC matchmaker. It's a party. It is a party. Crisis communications professional. <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> do I keep going? Oh yeah. How much time do we have? And birthday boy. Happy birthday, Thank Peter. Thank you, Catherine. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over 30. Oh, we rehearsed that. Though. He paid me to say that. Yeah. And I'm going to hold you to it. Thank you. Very good. Catherine, we didn't have to rehearse any of that. Peter, it just... Just flowed. We just... Was that as easy an interview as you've ever done? Oh, it was the best one yet. You say that. Does she say that every time she does one of these? <laughs> that was the best one we had. Was that the best interview we've had yet?